he also mentioned someone who I had never thought about, Moses. Oh, you want to pursue music as a career because you love it and you want to help us out financially. Did you think about Moses? No, I didn't. I didn't think about Moses at all. Was I supposed to? Moses didn't do what he loved. So why should you get to do what you want to do with your career and your life? Selfish. Hello, lovely people. My name is Emma. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I had a very vague suggestion a while ago just to check out the Jehovah's Witness website and particularly the video library just to see what kind of messages they're spreading, what they're teaching. So I've been having a poke around and I wanted to share some of that with you today. Before we dive into the specific video that I want to watch, I'm going to throw out some thoughts and questions and this is kind of uh, an open call to anyone who is or was a Jehovah's Witness or knows a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses, I guess. Because I've met a few Jehovah's Witnesses, I've spoken to someone online, there's also a Kingdom Hall not that far away, and everyone I've spoken to, aside from the obvious beliefs that we clash on, they've been very considerate, very reasonable. And my question is kind of around the structure of this religion, right? Because a lot of Christianity, it's so broad, it can kind of depend exactly what you believe and how you structure your day-to-day -day life can come down to personal choice and what church you go to. Jehovah's Witnesses, it's all organized by one governing body. They're, I think they're actually called the governing body. The governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses are responsible for the religion worldwide. It's very insular, it's very isolated. All the materials that are produced, all the decisions that are made, they all come from this one central body. I think, and we're gonna see from the content that we're gonna watch shortly, I think a lot of what they put out is terrible propaganda, especially for young people, especially the stuff they direct at kids and teens. My question to you, leave your thoughts down below if you are or were a Jehovah's Witness. How much did the governing body influence your life? How much How much of the kind of rules from on high on how much of your life you have to dictate to, uh, you know, your service and your tithing and all of this nonsense? How much of that do you or did you follow in your family? Is there any element of kind of personal choice around it? Are you and your fellow Jehovah's Witnesses not that attached to the governing body? Or is it really that it does dictate everybody's lives globally. I'm very interested because it's, like I say, it's very, very insular. As far as my research has shown, they don't even really hire people to work on media stuff that aren't already a Jehovah's Witness. They don't, they don't really open that circle ever. It seems like super, super insulated. So let me know. I'm really interested. So in the light, there's a video library, there's also, there's, there's a lot of dramas. Jehovah's Witnesses produce a lot of drama productions, which maybe, maybe we'll have a look at one at some point. They're obviously very long, they're, they're actual drama productions. So um, the children's videos, there's a lot of animations, there's a lot of Caleb and Sophia. I've seen a lot of Caleb and Sophia on places like Telltale Atheist, so I'm not going to go into any of those. We're not going to listen to any of the songs because let's not, let's just not. Um, I was mostly interested in this section for teenagers because that is such a wild part of your life, right? Where your hormones are going crazy, everybody's telling you different things, you've got your peers at school saying one thing, your, I guess, religious peers saying another thing, your parents trying to influence you, and now you've also got the church trying to influence you. And I scanned through a lot of this and it's a lot of... Basically, the, the prevailing theme seems to be don't do anything that could distract you from committing most of your time to Jehovah. Which, for Jehovah's Witnesses, does make sense. But it leads to a lot of bad advice, in my opinion. There's these terrible, like, whiteboard-style animations. You know, they were popular on YouTube for a while, so I guess the Jehovah's Witnesses sort of imitated that. They're really cheesy. Um, but it's very much like, what you should know about sports, and what you should know is, don't do them too much, or you'll care about your sports more than you will praying. Who's in control, you or your devices? Don't use technology too much, or you'll care more about your devices than about praying. <laughs> you see, there's a pattern. There's obviously some nice messages and some good stuff sprinkled throughout here. They talk about bullying and stuff like that a lot, and stuff that could be very helpful. But sprinkled in is this idea that none of it matters, and none of it is valuable, unless you're dedicating everything to Jehovah, to this religion. We must run with endurance, eat nutritious food. <laughs> Serving Jehovah in a divided household is possible. I bet that's an interesting one. The one that I picked out that I really wanted to look at with you is choose a career with an eternal future. 
My guess is going to be, based on what I have read and watched about Jehovah's Witnesses, my guess is that, much like all the other topics that we just discussed, it's going to be don't do something that takes up too much of your life so you don't have time for Jehovah. That's my guess. Let's see. So remember this is all specifically targeting teenagers. This is all for young people, people who are, well this specifically is going to be for young people who are in school trying to figure out what it is they want to do with their careers and their life. Let's see the damage. <laughs> I love music. It's a bad start. Oh god, he loves music. Why couldn't you have loved part-time customer service, you fool? When I sing, I feel I can do or be anything. It sets <gasps> me free. I love that little that shot. Tell me if I'm overreaching. The implication of that was like girls love musicians, right? Like the girls being like, oh, and he's, oh, he's singing and he's playing guitar, which is so real. Like when you were in school, although to be fair, when I was in school, there was a couple that I think they actually broke up because the guy wrote and performed a song for her in like an assembly and she was so embarrassed that they broke up. So maybe it's not always, maybe it doesn't always work out like that. That's what I felt that was. My classmates tell me to pursue what I want. And my teachers think that I can have a career doing what I love. Those bastards. <laughs> These kids are totally trying to ruin his life, telling him to pursue his career because he's really good. You see them all whooping and cheering? Kids in school are mean. If they were actually all like, Woo! Yeah! Rock, dude! You absolutely killed it! You're the best! You should definitely be a musician as a career. That means he's really good, <laughs> right? Because if you if you one note out of key, those kids would be ripping into you. So I agree with his peers and his teachers. I think he should be doing what he loves. <gasps> Wouldn't it be awesome to be a famous musician who is known by everyone? <laughs> I love that it's like what you could do as a career and then it's not like studying music further or like, you know, I thought it was going to be like he was going to be offered a scholarship or something to like a music university. No, it's like crappy talent shows auditioning now. <laughs> No. Let's bear in mind that he's already said that this is what he loves. He said he's, he's got the opportunity to do what he loves as a career. Jehovah's Witnesses are about to tell him why he shouldn't do what he loves. I know I would never leave Jehovah, but would it be so wrong to get my career sorted first and then serve Jehovah whole sold? <gasps> Ooh, no. No, what if you get hit by a bus while you've only been serving Jehovah half soul? <laughs> what does that mean? Why couldn't you be a... Have you heard how much Christian music there is out there? Why couldn't you be pursuing what you love and serving Jehovah full soul? Doesn't make any sense. Is it, is it purely just... Because what I get the impression from all of these things is like, it's purely just like, you need to dedicate a certain amount of time. And I just don't think that's how... I guess I'm coming at it from a very different angle. I don't think that's how spirituality should work. Like, you have to dedicate a certain amount of time to thinking about the creator and praying to the creator. I don't think that's how most people express their faith or their spirituality. I think you could definitely do it through music and through doing what you love. But no, they've got to frame it in the worst possible way. It's got to be, I'll worry about Jehovah after I become a famous musician. Now, I have an offer that can do that. You see... No, no, I've... no, you have a leaflet for a talent thing. You probably wouldn't get in. If you're quite good, you're probably not going to get into a talent show. 
that's the that's the truth of it and i know people who have applied and failed multiple times despite being fucking outstanding because the majority of people they want are crap so that people can laugh at them on tv and then like three good acts to get to the final that's the that's it is this isn't enough this isn't that kind of opportunity that's why i thought they were going to phrase it like a scholarship but i guess that would sound too academic and official it would sound too good and sensible so they have to make it like the stupidest version <laughs> family has never had a lot of money and this could change everything we could be i wonder why they've never had a lot of money is it because <laughs> the governing body says you can only do specific careers that give you plenty of time for jehovah you're not allowed to do anything you care about that could take up too much time and also tithing i wonder why his family doesn't have that much money be rich I love their being rich is like <laughs> now they've got flowers and his dad's got an iPad and like a swanky jersey <laughs> everything's like basically the same they just gave them like what they figured were fancier clothes when I told dad my plans how we could have more money he was really grateful I wanted to help. But? He liked the idea of using my talent. But he also mentioned someone who I had never thought about. Someone who had many opportunities in life and needed to make a choice. Moses. Oh, okay, this is just... Oh, you want to pursue music as a career because you love it and you want to help us out financially. Did you think about Moses? No, I didn't. I didn't think about Moses at all. Was I supposed to? Yes, apparently you were. Yes, you were supposed to think about Moses. Dad left me to think about Hebrews chapter 11, verses 24 to 26. By faith, Moses, when grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing to be mistreated with the people of God rather than to have the temporary enjoyment of sin, because he considered the reproach of the Christ to be riches greater than the treasures of Egypt, for he looked intently toward the payment of the reward. Don't, oh good, we're gonna see Egypt. Great, <laughs> oh no. Don't worry about the here and now. Live a mediocre life, not doing what you love, because there'll be riches beyond your wildest dreams in the life hereafter. If you believe that and it makes you happy, good on you. I really think that there is something to be said for the knowledge that, as far as we're aware, there is only one life and we should make it count. There's no time for regrets. If you love music, Please pursue doing what you love. Just, pl just please, just consider doing what you love. It doesn't have to be you become a rock star to be happy. You don't have to give up on your dreams completely because otherwise God will be mad. That's not this. No, it's, it doesn't. No. Uh oh. Moses had it all. Yet he knew that while living in the. He had it all. These three trays of buffet food. <laughs> Egyptian palace? He could never give Jehovah 100%. Why? There were too many temptations. Right. Idol worship, spiritism, materialism. He rejected this lifestyle and chose to serve Jehovah. The thing is, where does that sliding scale end? Like, you're living in a house with shiny objects and books and tv and i you should surely you should go and live off the land in a tent maybe even a tent is too much do you know what i'm you see what i'm saying here like how much temptation is too much temptation isn't it kind of arbitrary and like essentially it boils down to at least in these videos it's kind of like the average american household just happens to be exactly the right amount of distraction or whatever. Call me a conspiracy theorist. I think all of this is just designed to keep people invested in the church, spiritually and financially.
is to keep people being Jehovah's Witnesses and keep paying the church. I do. Clearly, Moses made the right career choice. What would my career be? Even if I am successful, is the dream that they are selling me a reality? Or will they throw me out as soon as the next big thing comes along? Again, that's why crappy talent show maybe isn't the best option even if you want to pursue music as a career. Can his music teacher please talk to him about this and say, no, actually there are other, there are plenty of other uh, options. <laughs> it doesn't just have to be do talent show, get mega famous, do all the drugs and rock and roll and then get rejected by the masses. That doesn't have to be your career if you love music. God damn it. What are the risks? Immorality? Materialism? Would I have the strength to resist these? <laughs> Would you have the strength to resist a woman standing there, looking all sexy with her silhouette? God, these rock and roll women are such temptresses. What a change one scripture and thinking things through can make. My teachers and classmates may never understand why I chose not to pursue a career in music, but that's okay. The career I chose gives me purpose and happiness now and has an eternal future. What career did he choose? I'm conf What's he doing? He looks like a real estate agent the way they're dressed. Now, Instead of being the only thing I do in life, teaching music helps me to support my career. Okay, but that's a perfectly valid... That's a perfectly valid thing. This could be so fine and good if it was phrased in a different way. It's literally been phrased as like, I shouldn't do what I love because Moses didn't do what he loved. But it's like, if they had phrased this as like, seeking fame and fortune isn't all it's cracked up to be. Look at other careers that you could use your talent in, such as teaching music, and maybe that helps. And then that this could have been lovely. Why did it have to be like either stupid talent competition or not doing what he loves at all? Teaching music is great. I'm kind of relieved that's what he went for, unless this is like something along... the the Him and the other dude in the suits and ties looked like pointing and gesturing looked really weird. I don't, don't really understand what happened there. Is this a school? Were they like looking at a school that he was? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Pioneering. My life is free of regret. I don't understand. What career choice will you make? Oh, now they're, um, fuck what's the word oh they're door knocking i've forgotten the official term they're out door knocking hooray so that's why they were all dressed up nice because they were going door knocking to recruit people into jehovah's witness okay and then like the the music teaching is just a thing he's doing on the side to make a tiny bit of cash all right this makes more sense now now they're camping some kind of jehovah's witness activity i think that was it. The moral of the story is don't do what you love because Moses. Moses didn't do what he loved. So why should you get to do what you want to do with your career and your life? Pfft. Selfish. So there's tons of videos like this. There's video dramas. There's audio drama. If you want me to check out more of these, let me know. Are there are any specifically that you think I should look at? do tell. I do think that the stuff aimed at young people and teenagers is the most risky because that's a great point to screw up somebody's life um, in a culty manner, you know? Do let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts down below. I am super interested to hear what you have to say about this, especially, well, especially if you're a Jehovah's Witness, 
but also especially if you pursued a career in music. Did it ruin your life? Is there temptation and sexy girls around every corner that you just can't, you can't be spiritually fulfilled? Uh, let me know. <laughs> As always, I would like to give a huge thank you and a big shout out to my giant chickens over on Patreon. A very confused looking badger. L, All Tag, Amber, The Myth Vision Podcast, Azku, Baked Bads, Burt Whitehead, Brian B, Tackles the Spoopy Newbie, Chantel, Charlie Edwins, Chris Simpson, Connie Wright, Conla, Chicken Maximus Lions, God damn it, Conla. Curious Quacker, Dave Kircher, David Gloin Cox, Denny5252, Dr. Mint, Eamon Sheridan, Faye the Succubus, Flash, Prez Blue Wolf, Fulcrum Gaming Ridge, Gay of Reckoning, George Bush, Gravy, Henry Curtis, Izzy, Amalgam of Neuroses, John Smith, Jambo Jarp, Ninja Red, Jason Metcalf, Joe Rowe, John Fry, Falcor the Ginger, Kent Woodward, Kiwi Satan, Christian Varga, Lizzie Gale, Mark Threlfall, Mattus McChicken Nuggetus, Miles Tegg, Psyched Dude, Mr. Creosote, Nerd Fiction, Neem Colon, Neem Coglan, Peter Kirouac, Plux, Kike, Rasbatom, Rosina Keller, Sarah Shavi, Sean, Simping on Emma Thorne, RPG MP3, Seriously, Supreme Potato 471, Tank Low, Taxman, Thalia Says Trans Rights, The Enchanter formerly known as Tim, Thomas V. Lohmeyer, Tracy O'Raw, Valerie, Wasatch Witch, Jeremy Buck, and Zabbat. Thank you so, so much. You guys are amazing. Do have a very lovely week, and I will see you really soon. <laughs> <laughs>